Also covering the World Series with me here at Kaufman is Sarah Hollenbeck. A lot of excitement, a lot of fans here getting some merchandise. Yeah, absolutely. I saw tons of people with handfuls of stuff bringing it out of here. You can see that tent behind us. That's where people are going in right now into the team store to try and buy more stuff. Now, I did see when they brought in a shipment of boxes, I mean a huge shipment, and they told me all of that stuff is going to be gone by Thursday. Take a look inside the store. You can see people just grabbing armfuls of stuff. There are hats. There there are sweatshirts, there are t-shirts, basically everything a fan could possibly need to try and cheer on their favorite team during the World Series. Now, one of the reasons why this merchandise, of course, is going so fast is a lot of people haven't seen the Royals logo next to the World Series logo in 29 years. So people coming here, they told me that they have shopping lists for friends, for family, for anyone they could think of because everyone here wants something that says Royals postseason World Series. Everybody's been coming in and just grabbing, you know, everything they can get their hands on, uh, jackets, jerseys, t-shirts, men's, women's, youth, everything's just been flying off the shelves in handfuls. Well, I don't know how many more things we're going to get, probably about another 50 or 60, whatever we can carry. And Patrick, coming up in 30 minutes, I'm going to show you some of the new food that they're rolling out here. Now, this is the first time that they've had a Blue October, so that yeah. means that they're rolling out a lot of fall favorites, stuff that you'll definitely want to see and taste. Good <laughs> stuff. And we will also, in 30 minutes, tell you about the Royal superfan, Sung Woo Lee. He is flying from South Korea, and the Royals tell us that ESPN is filming a documentary on him, so we're going to tell you about that coming up at 1130. Cynthia?